Hey everyone, here's another guide on Borderlands 3. So me and my friend found this mini boss which is marked on the map as a legendary hunt. We've hunted it down thinking that it would just drop us one item or something, but turned out this dude drops all sorts of items and he is super easy to farm. As you can see here, I got full legendary set of items which I only got from farming this boss. It took around an hour overall, usually it takes around 1 minute to kill the boss and about 2 minutes to restart and run to him. If your PC or console loads faster, you might actually end up doing this a bit faster than me. So I got Jacob's Destardly Maggie Pistol, Vladov, Corrosive and Golfing Shreddifier, which is a kind of like minigun and he also has a grenade launcher under which also does a, like a lot of corrosive damage. Hyperion Woodblocker Sniper, wait I just realized what that means, Woodblocker, does he mean what I think it means? <laughs> That's all three weapon slots that I had opened and loaded. Now the shield is called Hypercharge Recharger. I personally got a passive called Once More With Feeling, which is basically just recharges the shield a lot faster. Then I got the mod, I've actually got two of those but this particular one fits my build better. So you can farm here until you get the mod that fits your style. It saves you 5 skill points. On early level, 5 skill points? Come on, that's like amazing. <laughs> This lets you spend your valuable points on like, I don't know, other 5 skills that maybe you didn't even need that much but you know, why not now. This mod also breaks my shield which gives me an immediate speed boost and also damage boost when activating my action skill. But for this, I have a shield that immediately restores the shield back to what it was. So basically I go in with the battle with a full shield. But on top of that I get more damage and movement speed. As a final touch, I've also got plenty of grenade varieties. You can pick whichever you like. I personally went for clanning one since I like that they split in two. Because of my Zane abilities that spawn grenades when I shoot or my clone using them randomly, you see those grenades flying and tracking enemies all over the fight. This grenade goes into an enemy and does the tick damage. And cool thing is, is that the grenade actually goes through any kind of shield or armor and immediately does damage to the health itself. So again, this took me around an hour or 2 max, but I got perfect tips to give so it would take you way less time and you could get the full set a lot faster. Ok so first go to the travel machine, then go to the planet called Athenas, then you want to go to the drop pod area which is the start. By the way you can still farm this enemy if you are level 40 or something since the gear will go up to like level I don't know 37, but I think at that point it will be like better places to you know get the gear from than here. <laughs> anyway, when you come to the map you want to move to this cutout area right here. It should have a legendary hunt market on it. Let's speed walk to there right now. This is the point where you spawn back after rejoining the game and from here you will run towards the boss. Just behind this point is where you can jump off and kill yourself and there is a reason why you want to do that. I will explain that just a little bit later. For now just remember that it's behind the spawn. If you have any powerful grenades that will help you with the boss, that is if you're struggling to kill him with just weapons and stuff, then you can open these two chests right in front of you whilst running towards the boss. You might end up finding quite few grenades without actually going out of your way. Then you just hop on this cliff and that's where the big guy is. After you kill him just quit to the main menu and load up again, as you might already know this, and do this until you get what you want. Sometimes if you kill him too fast the loot will disappear and the other times, after quitting a lot of times, the game might crash and close. But the biggest problem you will face is running out of ammo. If you run out of ammo then just kill yourself, that's where the point behind the spawn comes in handy. You can quickly kill yourself, pay around $500 or something, which is nothing compared to what you get from farming this and you will get a lot of ammo back just like I did here. You see, I wasted a lot of time on going around and opening crates here and there to get my ammo back. So by doing this you can save yourself a lot of time that I didn't. Another little tip is to shoot right in his mouth. Try to come closer and shoot right in there since that will do critical. I had a triple barrel shotgun and if I executed this correctly I could kill the boss with 4 shots. And if you have an AOE skill that could kill his flying helpers, that would also speed up the process since they heal him and I think they actually give him some kind of like shield or protection, it seems I do more damage when they are dead. Or maybe I'm just tripping, I don't know. Alright, here we go guys, I hope this helps to all the newbies like me out there. I'm using most of this gear until now and it's pretty though, especially the shield mod and the grenades because it fits my skill set so perfectly. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of these type of videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!